everybody, Elite Golden here, and welcome back to Operation Andromeda. It's the Italian turn, and it's turn 17. When Major Foe goes for the Americans, he's going to roll the first dice for variable ending to see if the game ends. So, we've really got to play a level-headed and calm strategy. So, uh, no tech rolls for Italy, because they have a damage factory by one point, and uh, I just can't be bothered to fix it. So... We're going to buy an airborne for three, two militia for two apiece, and lend lease the Germans and in infantry. So that's the buy. Oh, yep, and that'll cost all of the Italians dollars. So, a um, couple of attacks. And they're all air power, so we'll see how that goes. First up. Uh, is um, first up is strap bomber coming off of the 15th air, uh, air division going one two three four and five to egypt we're going to bomb the rail um, and he'll have four movement remaining next up a fighter is going one two three and it's going to spike these transports here um, let me just real quick message Arbubs because he asked what my attacks were and I forgot about that attack because there's no dice roll to be rolled for that. Sorry about that. So just let him know, uh, just so we have full transparency. Um, but the air transport is going to sit tight, and the 15th is coming 1-2. And we're going to attack this. We asked, and the battleship and torpedo boat will come out to play. So this whole mess of units is headed down to the battle board. So the French are really going to be the ones carrying the battle here for the Allies, uh, depending on what happens. Fighter to there, and light carrier there. Alright, so I've got... <laughs> oh boy. I've got his casualty order right here with me. Ah, oh boy. And there we go. Okay, so the sub can't hit anybody. Um, there's nobody for it to hit. So, uh, yeesh, I don't know. I'm nervous for this battle, so I don't want to start with it. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll end with it. We'll roll this dice really quick. Um, so, because I'm not carpet bombing, the anti-aircraft gun doesn't get to fire. Um, I just have to roll 2d6 for however much damage. And, well, actually, I guess I just automatically max it out because it's in desert. So, I think it takes up to 2 damage. Um, uh, it's not scorched earth, I guess. It's supposed to do this. Um, and, of course, that's facing Upper Egypt. Um, well, because the lowest I can roll on a d6 is 1, and I rolled 2 of them, so hey, let's just not push Italy's luck. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's that. These guys come off, and now it's time for the fight. Can't push it off any longer. So, here goes. Here are the three Italian fighters. Two hits. Very nice. I will absolutely take that. And attacks the bomber as a six. That is three hits. So, according to Arbubs, that is British fighter killed because of uh, this. And then the two hits remaining is fleet carrier and the battleship. So, let's roll his stuff back. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I never know how that happens. It just kicks you all over the place. <laughs> okay, so here is the light carrier. 
two ones. Now the uh, torpedo boat destroyer. That's a miss. The fighter. That's a hit. And the battleship. Ooh, battleship misses. Ooh, all right. Only got to take off one, and so that'll be the fighter. Um, and we're gonna retreat. That will be it for us. Um, yes, so our bugs did say that if I got three or four hits on the first round, that he would submerge the sub. Well, actually, no, let's press on, because the sub is submerged, and this guy's at a six now. So we're actually going to press on, as crazy as that sounds. So, this guy's gone, the sub is submerged, let's put that back here. Oh boy, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, so let's just make sure I've got that right. Um, sub submerges, if I get three or four hits, I got three. Torpedo boat, and then battleship for the last one. Okay, yeah, alright, we press on. These are for sixes. That's one. Is for a seven. That's another six. That's that's everything. So let's see if uh see how bad he makes this hurt. Four, no good there. And a nine. That's a miss. Alright. Oof. Okay. So that was pretty good for the Italians. Oh, wrong keyboard, uh keybind. So, cool, cool. This guy will stay over here then. And we're going to land in Sardinia. Now for the rest of the turn. So, the strategic, uh, strategic bomber, since we got this sea zone cleared up, uh, is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, using up the last of its movement. It's got 9 total movement, which is insane. Um, this fighter's, uh, it went one, two, three, it'll go four, five, and this transport plane is going to load up an airborne and come down here. So we've almost cleared the Mediterranean of those silly, dastardly, uh, allied powers, but we'll just save it all for another day. that and the airborne is here okay all right I like that quite a bit actually that was that was pretty good so now we finish up our non-combat and because there's not a whole lot to do I think I just have to kind of push a few pieces around. Um, let's see. This guy... We'll rail this guy to eastern Anatolia following... Yep, that line right there. That's as far as he can go. So that's the one use of rail in the Middle East. And let's get some Italians into um, the Soviet Union. So they're going to rail to East Poland. Actually, no. What am I doing? They're not going to do that. I just realized a much, much better idea. Uh, we're going to send them to help the Atlantic Wall. That's a far better idea. So we're going to rail one up to Denmark. Um, we'll rail one to Aquitaine.
One, two, uh, Picardy. So that's three. And we'll do a fourth to um, the Netherlands. So there we go. The Italians are coming to help. Good for them. That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, good. The Soviet Union does not need Italians crawling around, so that works for me. All right, that's that's plenty. That's a plenty long turn for like two rounds of combat. So a militia gets placed into Sardinia for some extra defense. Uh, lend lease the German infantry. Um, we'll do a little bit of backfill since we took off so many guys. And an airborne gets put there as well. So, all right. That is it for me for this turn. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Um, well, after after this, I, I truly hope that Major Foe doesn't roll a... Um, a low number because I kind of want to keep going. I think uh, it's a close game and hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, if it's over, it's over. The Allies have fought a very, very hard game and I uh, have really done a fantastic job in the late game here, but I think we still got a few tricks up our sleeve. So, Major Foe, I look forward to seeing what happens, buddy. And uh, I'll catch all y'all uh, when Germany's turn rolls around. Uh, either that or a game recap. We'll see what happens. Later.